a grandfather, two dads, three sons, an uncle, two brothers, a nephew, and a grandson spent the day at Kansas Rocks. Rock, where are we? Kansas Rocks. What do we do here? Off-road and go in puddles. We go in puddles and go off-roading? My dad has operated a camera for commercials and feature films for 30 years. He snatched my camera and went to town collecting B-roll. I think my son enjoys our days at Kansas Rocks more for the endless cliff bars than he does driving through the mud. What time is it, Brock? Is it time to eat your cliff bar? Let me see. My favorite trail to start a wheeling day at Kansas Rocks on is Rust Bucket. Compacted ground under a puddle transitions into a decent obstacle that's ribbed and textured like sandstone. Is that fun? Yeah, I'll see you one more time. Oh, we'll go find some more to do. No, one more time. My new Treadright guard dogs were excellent this trip. They were smooth on the drive down and they dug through the tacky mud. They pulled their weight up slick hill climbs and got me out of many tight spots. We stopped at Troxel's Trough, sometimes known as Paddock's Puddle, where I used to purposely get stuck. You used to fly food again? You used to. I made it one. I've had mixed results here, from this to this. Because he doesn't want to be in that big pit. Right there. I think we can do that. Mm. Mm. Made it. I made it. I just made it. That's to that knot. That's just with me leaning on the stick. So if we were to put the weight of the Jeep on it, we could sink up to like there. It's all on you, Brad. Yeah. It would bury you in mud. It would bury you? I think we could make it. <laughs> you know, Brock, I used to say that, and then I'd get stuck. Most of the trails were a sticky mud from recent precipitation. Even sections of the main loop were worth playing on. we made our way to the back of the new property. I cooked a warm lunch of ramen noodles and canned chicken on my jet boil. Yeah. See, there's the noodles. We poked around the barn and enjoyed our generational meal. None of us were in a hurry and we were taking in the serenity. At the slab in Carnage Canyon, we watched some UTVs polish the obstacle and expose a few more feet of rock. I 
asked my dad if he wanted to drive. He was hesitant at first, then got a big grin on his face and took the wheel for the rest of the day. He took to it easily. I showed him numerous fun trails and coached him on gear and locker selection. He sure got a kick out of doing what many of us take for granted. This is my dad driving his first time off-road in a Jeep. Derry, now cut it, passenger. There you go, straighten out. Straighten out. Little driver. Nice. Is it spinning or is it just in a low gear? Yeah, I put it in first gear. Pretty good. So then hang it hang to the right. So put your passenger tire, yep, go to the right, keep going, keep more a little more throttle. There you go, left, there you go. Nice. Okay, so now go ahead and hit the locker button twice. So that puts the front end in the rear, and then this over. So it's in drive, so knock it left. Oh you're trying to go off this? Yeah. yeah. I showed my dad the difference proper gear selection makes on a climb. The first attempt we had the transmission in first and our progression stalled. The next attempt you put the transmission in second and the Jeep had enough wheel speed and momentum to power up the slippery climb. It's been over a year since I've wheeled at Kansas Rocks for fun instead of shooting video for events. I noticed I've become more cautious and protective of my Jeep. I'm less likely to give it hell. Besides a few hill climbs, I don't think I broke 4,000 ripums. I want this Jeep to last and not abusing it like my last one is key. My son brought his action camera to document the trip as well. He actually caught some neat shots of the trail. Taking pictures? Okay, this is what is happening. I like going off-roading and I like going in puddles and I like going with Cody and my dad and Papa and myself and I like the Jeep and I want to wash it today and I like eating those cliff bars. Our wheeling appetite satiated, we aired up to head home. The day was stellar. We hit some outstanding trails and were actually refreshed from the relaxing day. I even took a break from running camera, instead choosing to sit and enjoy the day's off-road highlights and keep them to myself. It was also a day of reflection. It affirmed my proclivity away from crawling and into adventure travel. I wasn't bored today, but I was definitely yearning for something grander. And so it shall be. Thanks for watching. See you on the trail. Remember to subscribe and rate this video.